Kisses Against Corruption. Let the people speak. Hello and welcome to Prime Walk's public feedback series on corruption called Voices Against Corruption. And we ask, do you think the interest of persons with disability as contained in INEC guidelines were adequately covered during the 2023 elections? Personal opinion, the, the guideline of INEC was not met because of the pocket of challenges we encountered during the election because there was violence in many places. And how do you as, uh, expect someone who is physically challenged to partake in such process and not be not being different uh, difference and choice of their rights based on INA guideline? Well, I don't think there was a special uh, uh, place for people to vote. Even we that voted, we stayed under the sun. Just few people provided canopies for some people. I know that canopy can accommodate the disabled people because people we have recognized for disabled and if we see them we we'll make sure that they are comfortable than we since they cannot stand as we stand. The people with disability had no special uh, treatment as per the last election and uh, their interest was not covered. For my own polling unit, I know we had someone that has visual impairments. So because of the kind of crowd that we have, he was not given a preferred treatment until we spoke out for that person and he was able to vote. Vision, their interest not, is not covered because even after the election, their leaders were complaining that they did not give them chance to vote and they did not allow them to exercise their responsibility as a citizen of this country. So even if you look at it, we that came out and vote. Our own interest is not yet covered. So we are complaining, as the disabilities ones are also complaining. Participation of the people with disabilities are not much. I, cannot, I did not see much of them participating in the election, in the voting process. And also the elect, elected uh, position, I, I did not see them being elected into any position as well, so it's not. It wasn't. A lot of, uh, there was some lot of misconduct even during the process of election. Even the people that, the, both on even the promises they made so far to the, to the general public and even the one they made on the media, they never met any of those requirements. Not talk of meeting the requirement of the people with disability. So it was a failed effort for the INEC. I don't think there was anything like that. INEC that doesn't, uh, that didn't even have chairs or tables for their staff where they have to be looking for tables and chairs and improvising for what they need. So that was not there. The only thing is that if you are handicapped or you are a person with disability, you are allowed to come and cast your vote. No, I didn't see any of such things. That's why I said they, they conducted as if everyone was able, you know, like no one had disabilities. So I think, you know, probably they have it in mind actually, but there hasn't been that conscious effort to see that, yes, you know, people with disabilities are actually considered. The disabled should be well taken care of since they have agreed to that effect that they are going to be adequately taken care of in the course of the election. Because they are, whether we like it or not, they are still part and parcel of us, and anybody can fall victim. So, you know, maybe probably by the year 2027, INEC will need to, even before then, they need to really make sure they keep to their promises to give adequate attention to the disabled. Primox Public Feedback on Corruption in Nigeria is produced with support from Makato Foundation.